Ahmed Rosario is having a pretty good year offensively. He's hitting for average, you know, not not a whole lot uh, more than that, but he can play third base, shortstop, second base. So he can play those positions that Triolo plays. He can also, again, like if Cabrian Hayes needs to sit for a bit, you feel comfortable throwing Rosario in the lineup for a couple days where, you know, went as, as opposed to Jared Triolo. So like Ahmed Rosario, another guy who like I'm a, I'm a big fan of. Now, defensively, <laughs> Rosario leads leaves a lot to be desired. Uh, what what Jeremy says was he helps above average on the Rosario page. It's minus six. He's not he's not a great defender, um, but he can play multiple positions. He can at least do it in a way that's I don't know. I guess he he's a body and he's played the positions before basically, but but offensively a lot better um, from a value standpoint better than Jared Triolo. Again, we talked about Triolo. He's, he's been one of the worst hitters in baseball. Um, so Rosario is my number one choice. Paul DeYoung, number two. And DeYoung's the same, same thing. He can play third. He can play short. He can play second. Having a pretty decent season, honestly. Um, but again, another rental. Neither of these guys would cost hardly anything. And would be pretty clear upgrades over Triolo. And then again, would be somebody who you would feel comfortable plugging in the third base if you need him to. Um, Rosario was signed for dirt cheap this off season. I remember talking a decent length about it. Yeah. He's batting three Oh six, Jim. Like you say a little bit above, he's bat. he has a one fourteen way to run straight plus he's batting three Oh six. This is a guy who doesn't walk, but, he hits for average. He doesn't strike out as well. He puts the ball in play. I look at this also. You said about like, you know, playing third base if Cabrera, whatever. I, I kind of look at this as, you know what? This is a good bench bat. You know, like, yeah. like think about this. This this offense is so bad. And even they do upgrade, you know, in the outfield, your your bench is still much to be desired. If you're looking at Rosario as just, I mean, it's not going to cost you much to begin with to acquire. But yeah, he can play some positions if needed. I know the defense isn't good too, but like that's a really good bench bat to have. Also, the guy puts the ball in play. That's something the Pirates just simply don't do enough. Tyler talks about time and time again. You know, so like I think it's a good fit in that sense. Also, it's not that I'm running to get Rosario, but I think if they made that trade, that definitely makes his team better. The other thing too to consider: a lot of this fielding, the the fielding issues with Rosario have been when they've put him in the outfield. Like he's he's a pretty decent infielder overall. There you go. So I don't really love either of these options. I don't really know if I'm going to acquire either of them. But if I have a choice, I'm probably going to ride more with the young. Just be, the defense is really good there. And you also get a little bit of pop out of them. They can play shortstop really well. Again, you might get some of that Cardinal Devil magic. Rosario yeah. just does nothing for me anymore. I think his time has passed. I have no interest in him whatsoever. Well, okay then. <laughs> All right. I literally have no what was it? interest I, in that guy. I, I, that's what, I mean, there's two names on here. Um, yeah. And I think both, both would be very good upgrades to that bench. Yeah, um, but so and, would I. And, yeah. So, so when you... When you say like, oh no, Triolo's in the lineup again, like you don't have that anymore. Yeah. Like you've got you've got real major leaguers in there coming off of your bench. Yeah. And the the sad part is both of these guys would be upgrades over not even Jared Triolo over Cabrian Hayes. Yeah. Sadly. <laughs> uh offensively at least. Hayes does bring you a lot of value defensively, but I, I also want to point this out. The young would probably be an upgrade. I also want to point this out. Both of these guys were traded last year at the deadline, so we have a pretty, pretty good idea of like what, um, what they cost. Uh, the Dodgers got Ahmed Rosario for Noah Syndergaard in cash. So let's just face it: Cleveland gave the Dodgers Ahmed Rosario last year, right? Like, just said, "Hey, here you go." <laughs> uh, the Blue Jays got Paul DeYoung and cash from the Cardinals for. A, like a 26 year old re double a reliever. So like literally pick an Altoona reliever and then, and send them to the white Sox for 
uh, for for Paul DeYoung. So neither of these two guys would make a dent, you know, in in your your farm system. And uh, yeah, I think I think both of these guys are are pretty decent upgrades to the team. <laughs> I think Martin Perez would be an overpay. Yeah, Martin Perez is, is significantly better than Noah Syndergaard. You know what I'm coming, the conclusion I'm coming to here, Jim, is that you can acquire like some maybe below average to average major leaguers for nothing. Yeah. And those are useful. Absolutely. Again, like the Dodgers and the Blue Jays got these guys last year. Yeah. There was a reason for it. But Bucko Mike, 17 home runs from Paul DeYoung. Like, yeah. The power is definitely there this year for DeYoung. 